American actress and rapper Shantae Harris, known to the wide audience as Dr. Brat or De Brat, was born on 14 April 1974 in Joliet, Illinois, and is one of several females who broke into the hip-hop scene in the mid-90s, and whose first album made her extremely popular. De Brat was the first female who managed to create an album which was certified platinum, and there is no doubt that this increased her net worth considerably. So, just how rich is DeBrat as of early 2017? Well, Celebrity.Money estimates that she has a net worth of over $1.5 million, accumulated during a career which now spans more than 25 years in the music world. DeBrat was raised by both her mother and father. However, her parents didn't marry, and so she actually had two homes. At an early age, DeBrat learned to play the drums and sing in the choir while attending Pentecostal church services several times a week. She was educated at Kenwood Academy and matriculated from the Academy of Scholastic Achievement in 1993. DeBrat then started her serious career when she won a contest of rappers in her hometown sponsored by MTV. As a prize, she had the opportunity to meet with famous rappers Chris Kelly, Mac Daddy, and his partner Chris Smith, Daddy Mac, from the American duo Chris Cross. With the help of the duo, DeBrat was introduced to Jermaine Dupri, an American songwriter and record producer, and from then onwards, after signing a contract with So So Def label, her net worth started to rise extremely quickly, as she debuted with the album Functified, released in 1994. She rocketed to fame as this album peaked at number 11 on the Billboard 200, which increased her net worth considerably. After this success, DeBrat released three more albums, Another Tantrum in 1996, Unrestricted in 2000, and Life Flight, Love and Nightclubs in 2003. Until 2006, DeBrat also appeared in several TV shows and even movies. The first time she appeared in TV in 1994 was as a musical guest in the American live-action comedy show entitled All That. And just two years later, she was already playing herself in the movie Kazam directed by Paul M. Glasher. Her most recent notable appearance in a movie, which increased her net worth, was in 2006, when she played the main character, Karmisha, in 30 Days. Since then, DeBrat hasn't made any progress in the film industry, partly because her personal life took over. After a couple of assaults, she was sentenced to three years in jail in 2007, released in 2010. Since when, she has continued her musical career, but producing numerous remixes, including one called Motivation, featuring Lil Wayne, as well as collaborating with the notorious B.I.G., Missy Elliott, Maria Carey, Destiny's Child, and Lil' Kim, among others. Most recently, since 2015, DeBrat works for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show as a co-host. In her personal life, well, there isn't one that has been mentioned. There are no rumors of any relationships, and if there are, she keeps such information very quiet.